we're going to talk a little bit about how to keep colony numbers under control. And one of the key things you do towards the back end of the season is you look at your colonies, you decide which ones are stronger, which ones you're not entirely happy with for whatever reason, strength or temperament or whatever, and you merge them together. So we've got two dummy colonies here. In an ideal world, you move your colonies close together before you unite, but it's really not an essential thing. So what we've needed to do first is as a colony we're going to unite, we need to go through and we need to find the queen and we need to take her out. Two queens, the colonies won't merge and there's likely to be fighting. So this is going to be the colony that we're uniting to. Sorry, this one's uniting to and this one we're going to unite with it. So, with this colony, it's the queen right, it's strong, it's got all of the things that we like about it. We're going to just strip it down, open it up, going to get some sheets of just ordinary newspaper, and we're going to spread those on the top. Because it's a small sheet of newspaper, I've just taken three sheets there, and we're going to weigh it down with a queen, uh, queen excluder, just so it doesn't blow off. Now, what you can do is make some very small little holes, three or four, or something like that in it. You're not making great big flashes, you don't want the bees to go through it too quickly. The whole idea is that they merge gently and slowly over a few days. The colonies sense mingle, and the colonies merge without fighting. It works a surprising amount of the time, 95% of the time, the colonies don't fight and they just merge. With this box, we just take the brew box, and we put it on top, top it with a crown board, put the roof back on, and that's about it. If you've got supers on either colony, it really doesn't make a lot of difference. Just put the stack the way you would. Lower colony complete if it's got a super on, and then the brew box on top, and if the donor colony's got a, a super on, that just goes on top as well. Once you've left it that way for about a week, you need to come back because you'll probably have brood in this box and brood in that box, and you don't want it necessarily to be on double brood. So you can take the, after a week, you can take the queen excluder out, take any brood frames from the top box, drop them into the bottom box, take the top box away. It's the job done. That's it.